Hello, my fellow miner. Have some free kisses from this very handsome fella. This kadogi, as it's called in Swahili slang, I think. You're most likely asking yourself, why do I receive this lovely free digital gift? Well, it is because you have helped me reach 10,000 subscribers. I may not have it when you watch this video, but by the time you are done, I will. Thank you very much. Have some more kisses. Oh, today is very exciting. We are going to answer, what is flux? Your mama so fat, when she skips a meal, the crypto market drops. Nope, nope, no, we are not going to look at that. We are going to uh, look at what wallet to use. Very exciting stuff. GPU intro, you say? Yes, of course, there will be a very lovely GPU intro. The exact same as all the other videos. Overclock settings for all the cards, please. Yes, of course. Give me results and monies. Yes, of course, you will get results and monies. Overclock settings for the RX 580, RTX 3090 Ti, the Tesla. Now, please. Millions are using them. I know you didn't write this. This must be your friend who just grabbed your phone. But let me come with a very good example so it's easy to understand. Now, right now I am eating the last popcorn. Tomorrow the kids will ask me to make popcorn and I will tell them I cannot. They will ask me why I cannot make the popcorn and I will tell them that I don't have any. I ate them. Now. Of course, that will make them angry and they will tell me I can just go to a supermarket and buy them. Yes, I could, but I don't want to. That is the exact same reason that I cannot test all the other cards. I don't want to. I have these cards right now and at some point I will go and test other cards when I feel like buying them. It doesn't matter if the entire world owns that card because I don't. Now. That is the reason for me not testing the RX 580 and I cannot give you overclock settings for something I haven't taste, uh, tested. I'm very sorry. Now let's have a look at what Flux actually is. After some very extensive research, I came to the conclusion that it is soldering paste. And now on to which wallet to use. That is actually a very easy question to answer. You use seal core. Why? Well, Flux is actually Seal and Seal has been renamed to Flux. That is why. It is finally time to have a look at the different GPUs we are going to test here. If you have already watched the intro before, feel free to skip it as I have not changed anything. If you feel like skipping the overclock settings, then please don't because you'll just go to the comments and ask me what are the overclock settings and I will answer. It is in the video. Quickly moving on like a ninja. Uh, we're going to have a look at the RTX 3060 LHR version 2 from Sotag Gaming. It has been working perfectly and very good quality to be honest. The RTX 3060 Ti from Asus, their tough series. No, that is actually the wrong picture. There. Now we have the right one. The graphic card comes with two balls of steel in each fan. Military grade. Yes, yes. A piano was dropped on my head as a kid, so I am legally excused. Then we have the RTX 3070. I chill 4X from Inno 3D. It's actually surprisingly good. The quality is top notch. I have not changed anything. It's super cool actually. And then of course it comes with lots of RGBs that you cannot turn off via the software because the software part sucks. But it doesn't matter because more RGBs, more mega hash. Up next we have the RTX 3070 Ti from Sotag Gaming, also known as the DIY 3070 Ti because it drops thermal padding and comes with screws that have fallen out. I actually expected the quality to be uh, on pair with their RTX 3060. Oh boy, was I wrong. What a pile of poop. And then we have the RTX 3080 LHR from Gigabyte Vision Overclock Revision 2. It's actually quite good looking, but I wish you could get it in black brushed metal instead, even though it doesn't really matter because 
is part of my mining rig and I never see it. And now it's time for the last card, the RTX 3080 Ti from Eno 3D iChill X4. Yes, I'm very well aware that it looks exactly like the RTX 3070 edition. Um, it is. Actually, the pictures are also exactly the same, so I had to take the one with the box. I said their graphic card is good quality, not their software and definitely not their homepage. That is a very good example of what happens when you take a back-end software developer and put him or her to make a homepage. If you haven't subscribed, Uncle Donkey would very much like you to hit subscribe and afterwards that bell notification. Yes, the bell so you can get spammed even while you sit on the toilet. I mean, who doesn't want to get a random notification at random times around the clock? It is very nice. So remember to hit the bell notification and you will get unwanted messages all the time. It's time to have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 LHR version 2. In Hive OS I set the core clock to 300, the memory clock to 2400 and the power limit to 140. If you are using Windows, set the core clock to 300 and the memory clock to 1200. Remember to create a batch file and remember to use the NVIDIA SMI command as that would set the power level to 140 watts. So we avoid using the very frustrating percentage that uh, MSI Afterburner uses. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 Ti, also an LHR card. Mining Flux. In high OS I set the core clock to 250 and the memory clock to 2100 and the power limit to 160. In Windows I set the core clock to 250 and the memory clock to 1050. If you have a graphic card that actually doesn't suck like mine, then you'll be able to do even better on the memory. I'll say it again. Remember to use the NVIDIA SMI command to set the power level to 160 watts in Windows. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3070 LHR Mining Flux. In Hive OS I set the core clock to 220 and the memory clock to 1300, while setting the power limit to 220. In Windows I set the core clock to 220, the memory clock to 650 and the power limit to 100%, but then I use the NVIDIA SMI command to set the power level to 220 watts, so please remember it. Now it's time to have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3070 Ti, also known as the DIY 3070 Ti. Such poor quality from Sotac Gaming. Anyway, in Hive OS I set the core clock to 220 and the memory clock to minus 2000 and the power limit to 240. In Windows I set the core clock to 220 and the memory as far down as possible and then I use NVIDIA SMI command to set the power limit to 240 watts. Now you may ask yourself why I'm not upping the memory instead putting it all the way down as far as I can, as far as I'm allowed. Why I'm not just doing as all the other YouTubers. Well, it's actually because if you have 6x uh, DDR 6x RAM, then it doesn't do any difference at all. You can put it as high as you want, but uh, it won't do any difference. Now, of course, if you feel like it does a difference, then you are allowed to do it. I have no problem, but it's a waste of power and you will actually get more out of just setting it to a negative number. Now it's time to have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3080 LHR Mining Flux. In high OS I set the core clock to 270, the memory clock to minus 2000 and the power limit to 290. In Windows I set the memory clock to minus as much as possible and the core clock to 270. Please use the NVIDIA SMI command to set the power le level um, to 290 watts. Wow, that was really bad. I do actually make mistakes. Of course, I could just have edited it out, but that wouldn't be fun. Now, let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3080 Ti Mining Flux. In Hive OS, I set the core clock to 250, the memory clock to minus 2000, the power limit to 300 watts. 
In Windows, I set the core clock to 250, the memory clock to minus 2, no, 502, as low as possible, and then I use the NVIDIA SMI command to set the power level to 300 watts. With all the overclock settings over, it is time to have a look at the average results and the profits. Kaching! Well, spoiler, as the prices are right now, there's not much kaching, but we can hope that the prices go up. First up, we have the RTX 3060 LHR, and by the way, Flux is not affected by LHR at all, but all these cards are LHR cards. 41.4 solutions per second at 139 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.30. And for that, you get 0 0.9 dollars, which is 90 dollar cents per day. Now let's have a look at the RTX 3060 Ti. 53.2 solutions per second at 160 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.33. For that, you'll earn $1.2 per day. Now, let's have a look at the average result for the RTX 3070 LHR. 71.7 .7 solutions per second at 219 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.32. For that, you'll earn $1.6 per day. Now, it's time to have a look at the average result for the RTX 3070 Ti. 72.2 solutions per second at 239 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.30. That will earn you $1.58 per day, and that is actually better than I expected when it comes to efficiency. Usually the RTX 3070 Ti is much worse than the 3070, but in this case it's a little bit worse, which is in the okay range I guess. Let's move on and have a look at the average result for the RTX 3080 LHR. 93.4 solutions per second at 290 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.32. For that you'll earn $2.08 per day. Let's have a look at the average result for the very last card I have, the RTX 3080 Ti. Or Ti if it's up to Nvidia, like a bow tie or a tie or I guess the tie fighter but anyway let's have a look at the average result 104.2 solutions per second at 299 watts which gives an efficiency of 0 0.35 for all that hard work you will have a profit of 2.38 dollars per day that is actually not bad and it's a bit surprising that the RTX 3080 TIE Fighter is so efficient compared to, uh, for example, the RTX 3070. Now, before you hurry over to your overclock settings and start mining, there are some things we need to address first that may confuse you. First up is why am I not using LOL Miner for it? Well, it's because uh, using LOL Miner you'll get around half the solutions. Um, so I suggest that uh, you guys already in the Telegram channel for, for LOL Miner, you uh, write there that it's actually quite bad when it comes to Flux. Next is why don't I use Gminer? Well, the answer is almost the same. Ah, not really. Gminer does a lot better than LOL Miner and Flux, but uh, Miniset is actually better than Gminer. So that is why I'm using it. Would I want to test G minor? Sure, if there's an interest, uh, I can do it, but the result will be worse than what you see here. So I actually rather just wait until they have addressed it and tuned it, so the results may be better. And now let's talk a little bit about the overclocking experience. It is horrible. I have never tried anything that is worse. You can change overclock settings and then you have to sit and wait sometimes up to 12 minutes before it has fully stabilized. That is crazy. I mean, I saw the RTX 3080 tie uh, fight its way from 77 all the way up to 107. That was different clocks though. Um, took 12 minutes. 12 minutes for it to stabilize just for it to crash afterwards of course because I've clocked way too high and way too much power but I had to try just for the fun of it right but still that is the experience the general experience is that you change overclock settings and then you wait forever so and this is why uh, the Nintendo Switch is actually the best console ever 
because there you just sit and play on the Nintendo Switch while this flux thing or it's a mini set, I actually don't know which one is at fault here, uh, tries to stabilize the solutions per second. While you sit on your game, uh, something like Mario Odyssey or uh, The Legend of Zelda. Of course, The Legend of Zelda is better, so why would you play Mario? And then we also have to address the whole profit per day. As far as I understand, both uh, Miner's Dad and um, what's it called? What to Mine, they show what you earn on Sealed slash Flux, but not the parallel assets. And the parallel assets can actually add a lot to your earnings. Correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong please write so in the comments because that is my understanding. Those two do not show what you can earn on parallel assets. Now after you have rushed off and you have overclocked your own things, if you uh, start noticing that you crash or something like that then try and up your fan speed if possible, if not then lower your core clock or your watts or both. That is usually the problem, you just have to lower them or up the fan speed, it is because of heat. And when you then have a stable overclock and you are running and mining flux, then please go to the comments and write what you get. I'm actually quite interested in in specifically what people can get out of this with their different uh, graphic cards because I've noticed that I have like uh, three completely the same RTX 3070 and they all get different results. It's plus minus uh, three solutions per second, but it's still quite a lot compared to what I expected. And then the very last thing, I promise, thank you for all the lovely comments. Uh, I know that I sometimes uh, joke a bit, um, but I actually enjoy the comments, even the one that says that I need to buy a specific graphic card because millions own it. find it a bit funny though, <laughs> but uh, thank you very much for the, the lovely comments. And no, I will not buy a graphic card because a million people own it. A million people own so many things that I don't, so I would buy all the other things before that graphic card. Oh, and this is the very last, very, very last thing. I promise, for sure. This time it is. Um, the next video is going to contain a rig upgrade where I change the motherboard and uh, of course also CPU and RAM and completely reinstall the GIMP to the GIMP version 2. If you have a better name than the GIMP version 2 for this rig, then please write so in the comments and uh, I'll have a look and consider them. But of course, it won't just be boring hardware upgrade. Of course, I find that exciting too. I actually don't do that many of those videos, but I'll also include a surprise test because I'll be adding new graphic cards, but not any of the completely new one that Nvidia released in this month. If you like my video, then please click like, share it with someone, and if you haven't subscribed, then please subscribe. All the three things help me out a ton. Like, not ton coin, but you can actually mine ton coin. If you haven't seen those videos, go to my channel, check them out. I'll see you in the next one.